In a previous video, we looked at the bad news, which seemingly gets worse and worse. And under the cloud of these worsening conditions, investors from all over have been plowing money into U.S. government bonds for safety and security. As a result, yields in Europe have gone negative and are falling in the U.S. Recently, the 10-year Treasury yield fell below 1.6%. So why would lower bond yields support my argument that this is the time to buy stocks? Well, let's take a look. Conventional wisdom holds that you invest in bonds for yield and you invest in equities for capital appreciation. But the 10-year Treasury yield is down to about 1.6% from about 3.2% in just the past nine months, with the S&P 500 yield at about 1.95%. Stocks now offer the best of both worlds. Stocks may not protect you from near-term volatility, but over a longer holding period, investors should do much better in stocks. The plunge in bond yields, which has also resulted in an inverted yield curve with the two-year Treasury yield trading above the 10-year yield, has stoked fears of near-term recession. As we have discussed many times before, an inverted yield curve has preceded past recessions. A severe recession could throw a wrench into an investing play comparing stock yields to bond yields. In a worst-case scenario, a deep recession may cause companies to cut their dividends. That's exactly what happened after the financial crisis, when the companies of the S&P 500 cut dividends by an aggregate of about 25%. If the same were to happen again, the real yield on the S&P would be about 1.5%, which is still about the same as current treasuries. But if we had another worst-case scenario, bond yields may drop even further. For reference, the last time the S&P 500 yield was near or higher than the Treasury yield was March of 2009. At that exact point, stocks were dirt cheap. But does that mean stocks are dirt cheap today? Well, maybe, maybe not. What it really means is that stocks are very cheap, but relative to bonds. That might sound odd to many investors who have observed the stock market climb higher and higher over the past decade. However, the bond market has climbed even higher over the past year. For reference, the TLT, shown in this chart, is a Treasury bond ETF, has risen over 25% since the fourth quarter of 2018. That means bonds have outperformed stocks by a wide margin over the past nine months. Going back to 2009, we were coming out of the depths of the Great Recession. Stocks were not only inexpensive relative to bonds, they were really cheap historically. The S&P 500 had fallen from over 1570 in 2007 to below 700 in March of 2009. That's a drop of about 55%. If you had nerves of steel, it was a no-brainer. Today, it's different with stocks nearing all-time highs again. Maybe you need nerves of steel once again. Warren Buffett recently told CNBC last May that, and I quote, I think stocks are ridiculously cheap if you believe that 3% on the 30-year bond makes sense. But I don't know if Buffett felt that bonds made sense or stocks made sense. Because I have no idea what he was thinking. I need to reason through the current circumstances. My thoughts are that U.S. Treasuries have appreciated so dramatically is in part because of the ultra-low and negative interest rates around the rest of the world, which makes our bonds that much more attractive, and because there are so many dollars chasing assets. So the question becomes, do stock prices rally, or does the bond market crash? Well. Here's a bit of a hint of where I stand on that issue. This past week, I bought more Berkshire B shares. However, the stock market story will continue. 
So please subscribe and follow along with us. And for today, that's Chudog Charts. Thank you.